In Boynton versus Kennecott, Utah Copper, we'll see whether a company owed a duty of care to a worker's spouse, even though there wasn't a special relationship between the worker's spouse and the company. In the 1960s and 70s, Larry Boynton worked at various job sites owned by Kennecott Utah Copper, ConocoPhillips, and Pacificorp. In the course of his work at the sites, Larry was exposed to asbestos dust, which settled on his clothes. The company didn't warn Larry about the dangers of asbestos and didn't provide laundry services for Larry's work clothes. Larry wore his work clothes home, and Larry's wife, Barbara, would launder his clothes. When Barbara washed Larry's clothes, she inhaled the asbestos dust that had settled on his clothes. In 2016, Barbara was diagnosed with malignant mesothelioma and died three weeks after her diagnosis. Malignant mesothelioma is a type of cancer that is caused by exposure to asbestos. After Barbara's death, Larry filed a negligence lawsuit against Kennecott, ConocoPhillips, and Pacificorp. Larry claimed that the companies failed to warn about the dangers of asbestos and didn't implement safety measures to reduce the risk of exposure. The companies moved for summary judgment, claiming that they didn't have a duty of care to Barbara. The trial court granted Pacificorp's and ConocoPhillips's motions for summary judgment after finding that Pacificorp and ConocoPhillips didn't engage in any affirmative acts that would have created a duty to Barbara. The court denied Kennecott's motion because there was a disputed issue of fact whether Kennecott's conduct was an affirmative act that exposed Larry to asbestos. Larry appealed. The Utah Supreme Court granted interlocutory review.